Hi Pandora friends, my name is Leanne and I'm Mad for Pandora. Welcome back to another video. Today I would like to share a few things that I bought from the June sales. Now I wasn't planning on buying anything else, but then we did get the extra 20% off. And if that wasn't enough to tempt me, we actually got offered a half price bracelet. Now there were a few options to choose from and I did pick something that I can't believe was actually half price. So first of all, I would like to just show you what I've sort of done with my Pandora Me bracelet from some of the other purchases I made a while back. So I did change it around a little bit. So I've moved the love down further. And then I've just got the little silver link in there. Now, you know these little silver links, I don't think you can get them anymore, but they were two and three ring connectors. I think this one's only a two. And I did see someone, I can't think who it was, but did this with their double links. Now, I was surprised at how effective it was to just double over a double link like that. So you don't end up having sort of less options of openable links. And I do have one of my rose links in here and there are thinium ones. And these are the dangles I've managed to put on the first one. So I thought they kind of complemented each other quite well. And I wanted to put a second dangle on this one that wasn't hopefully going to scratch the shiny surface of the beautiful heart. Now I know these hearts were also in the sale, but I didn't get a second one or a third one of that. I've got two already. And this one's just the little angel wings. So I thought they went fairly well together. And then I've got another length there. I'm pretty sure this is the three. And then this part here is all one. So that's the studded, no, the nailed heart, that's right. That's pretty cool. And then I've got another one of the ruthenium connectors here. Now, this one here, I've put a little bottle cap. Now this is the Pandora rose version. Well, so I didn't do it in the silver. It's got Pandora written on the back. That's pretty cool. And again, I didn't want to put another dangle that would scratch it up too much. So hopefully this one is fine. So I don't know, I sort of looked at this and I thought music often goes with drinking soft drink and different things. So I thought that complemented quite well. And mostly it sort of hangs beside it. And then I've got another rose connector and I've done the same thing on this side of my second black one. Now the idea that I had to keep playing around with this was because I didn't have it quite right in length um, to where the dangles went down. I was still having one that was twisting funny at the end. So I didn't have a choice but to switch it up yet again. And then this one, I've ended up adding the red cubic heart that I had. And I was actually quite surprised, but the red goes fairly well with the little fire. So this is like, I don't know, burning love or something like that. Yeah. I think that's pretty cute together actually. So they all hang up the same way and they all hang up the right way. So I've been wearing this up my arm and the dangles all stay up the right way. So 
so it's finally the right length and everything's hanging where it should hang so that's been fun playing around with that Now, as far as what I purchased in the sale, there was one thing that they sent after I'd bought it, they sent me an email to say that they'd canceled it. And that was the ring with the angel wing on it. And I was a bit disappointed about that. It did come back in stock, but I didn't end up doing another order or anything. So I don't know, maybe in a future sale, I may get it. I did read on the reviews some of the cubics come out of it so I don't know maybe I was never meant to have it <laughs> but of course I just wear this one plain and I'm sort of just mostly just wearing it with this or I put my little cross dangle on it. So if you remember, I bought this as a size 20. So I only have the one connector in the middle. Now that can be a bit restrictive. When you look at this one, it's just made up of parts and I can do a lot with it. But I end up in the sale getting for half price the gold version. Now, of course, this is just gold plated but can you believe it was $129 and honestly I never thought I'd own this and I'm actually quite shocked but I talked to my daughter my Pandora daughter and she was like she's really happy with her one the only thing is that they didn't have the size 20 when I got mine they're already sold out because I ummed and ummed out a fair bit. So I got the 17 and a half and it is slightly bigger than I would prefer. But at some point and probably when it would be out of warranty, I might consider whether I might take one of the lengths out of the four length in the middle. Because if you look at this, I'm not sure if both my middle bits if I hang things on both of them whether they'll hang up the right way or not because if you look at it sorry about all the stuff in the background if you look at it, it shouldn't really want to hang up the right way but we'll see but yeah if I need to make it shorter that's probably what I'll do the problem is that this one actually has to go back so this one is completely fine and it opens and shuts really well and I'm not worried about that one but if you go along to this one and you open and shut it a few times and it'll probably make a liar out of me today but it is constantly oh did you see that see how it's getting caught now I'm not really happy with that because to me that will not be safe or secure and you would think when you're paying so much for something it wouldn't be faulty like that. So let me know in the comments if you've had one of these that does that in the gold version because they are not cheap. And I just noticed this week that they've restocked these. That's why I haven't already sent it back. And they've actually gone up to $299 for one of these. Considering I paid $129 and you had to spend $99 to be able to get a bracelet of your choice out of the selection for $99. No, for half price, sorry. Yeah, so crazy and how it just sits like that other than that I think it's pretty good like this seems okay it's quite a bright gold color it almost reminds me of the Pandora shine but I don't think these came out when they were doing the Pandora shine 
If you know, please let me know because maybe this is older stock. But yeah, it. I know with some of my Pandora Shine and my 14 karat plated um, pieces, they do dull slightly so they're not quite as bright. And I think this is already not quite as bright. But yeah, I'm really disappointed with the fact that I've got to send it back. But I do want to show you though that the other piece that I bought I might pop this out of the way. Have a look at how tiny this is. <laughs> I got the little tiny rose, and I think that was just like $24.50 or something like that, half price. How small is that? Like, it is the tiniest thing you have ever, ever seen. And my eyes can barely even see it. So, if it wasn't so cheap, honestly, I'd send it back. But I'll pop it on the bracelet and you'll see just how small it is. Like. After I got it, I sort of read some of the reviews and they're like, people are saying, they're so tiny, I send it back. But then I didn't pay as much as full price for it. So anyway, it gives you that feeling that you've got something dangling on your arm. Now I will pop it on to show you. So as you can see, I could have had it a little bit shorter, but if I pop it on the full thing, my logic in not trying to swap it for the 20 is if I do what I did with the silver one, it will fit me quite firmly, but then I only get the advantage of one openable. And if I wanted to stack these, maybe it's a good thing to have two different sizes. On the other hand, if I got them the same size, I could actually swap them so I have two two-tone ones. So I'm not really sure what I want to do about that, but we'll see how this goes. But see how the little tiny dangle very small. Now I did have this other idea that I could do where you can change it around tell me too if you took advantage of the fact that these were so cheap I mean there must be some people have done that. Now my idea too was if I switch this around see I can put the long bit there and I can actually have I probably did it the wrong way around because you're not going to see the little dangle. Maybe you are. Okay. So I can actually have the clip bit on top. And I could hang something bigger off it if I wanted to, or just have that as the design. So you've still got the four there. And instead of having the other one, you can just pop that under there. So I did think that's another way of wearing it. If I didn't want to on top. Anyway, I'm not really sure what my thoughts are apart from that I'll try and change it for one that's obviously not faulty. Hopefully Pandora can just send me another little 
openable link or something and I don't have to return the whole thing. Now the other thing I bought on the sale is these are really really tiny again I checked the reviews after I bought them and some people are saying they are not the size um, you know how they show the pictures of people wearing them they're not actually that size well they're definitely smaller and they are really really tiny but on the other hand I want them for my seconds and I don't think I've seen any other YouTubers buy these and show these before. But in Australia, they've still got the clips that match this set. And hmm, I think they got rid of the cloud. But there was a few other pieces in this. I definitely would like to pick up the Muranos that came out with this set as well. They're just so gorgeous, the multicolored ones with the with the feathers on the side. But how small are they? So on the back, I'll try and pull it off. So they're a little hard, as they seem to all be these days. Mm. I've not tried these on yet. Mm, I can't see whether there's a hallmark there. Yeah, I think there's a hallmark. I'm not sure if you can see that. Sorry if the light's going a bit weird. It's starting to be a bit <laughs> late in the day. But I thought if I don't get this recorded today, I won't. But how tiny is that? The reason I bought these is I used to have a blue budgie and I absolutely loved him and I don't have anything really to represent him but also when I was a kid I used to have these little tiny blue bird earrings. Now were they earrings or was it a necklace? It used to be really really um, popular to have these little tiny blue birds. But that's what it reminded me and so I was sort of hoping to pick them up and I did. So that went towards my $99 spend. And then the other piece that I picked up, which I was quite surprised about because it's not really something I would normally get, but I'm trying to use it to make something out of something I've had for a very long time and never used it. I have bought, can you believe, <laughs> a Game of Thrones piece. So this is a little tag for the Game of Thrones. And I haven't watched Game of Thrones. I think I watched about five minutes. It's not my thing. I mean, I love dragons. Don't get me wrong about that. But there was way too much going on with that show. But how gorgeous is this for our little dragon egg? The detail on this charm is amazing and it was really so cheap. I think with the 20% off it was like $29 or something like that. I actually didn't even spend the $99 after they refunded the other um, ring, so really I did quite well to get this, but it's just got the cubic zirconias and it's just got so much detail. I do wish I'd got two though, because I will show you how I'm going to style it just as a mini design. And of course I showed you some of the other pieces that I got the other day. So I'm going to use some of these tiny little spaces and my new little spaces. And then the heart one. 
Now I do also have this gorgeous hat tart. Now I do often use this as an Easter egg at Easter time, but for this design and for now, I'm going to pop it on my O pendant. So my thoughts were that this was going to be the second egg. Only thing is it doesn't sit up as well as the other eggs. So if I can get a second one of this one, I will probably do that. But it's pretty cute. Now, I don't know how many people own this because I don't see many people with it. I call this Sparrow, but obviously it isn't Sparrow, but it's a gorgeous little dragon. It's so cute, it's got so much detail, but my husband insisted I have this a long time ago when it was at the store. And I've just never found a place for it because to me it's too big for a bracelet. It's quite heavy, and but it's so cute. And he likes playing dinosaur games and all that sort of stuff. And our kids used to pay, play Spyro as kids. I know my daughter loves this one. I really hope she can pick one up. Just so cute. So I pop him in the middle. And then we put the Game of Thrones one on. Now I did try this on a few different designs, like I tried it on my open pen, open bangle, I tried it on a bracelet and a few different things and this was sort of my favourite design. And it means that I can wear this as a pendant for my fairy tale bracelet. So I've never actually had a proper pendant for that design. So. I'm thinking this is where I'm going to go with it. So how cute is that? But you can see if I put it up this way how this one wants to go sort of flip a little bit but it's not too bad. What do you think of that? I don't often wear my medium O pendant but I think this actually suits having more of a full design, especially as I can stack from bigger to smaller up it. What do you think? Feel free to make a comment and tell me what you think. At least that will do for now. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the pieces that I got and um, I'm sure I'll get some good use out of them and I'm trying to think, what did I do with my other bracelet? There it is on my arm. So hopefully I'll be able to get this changed and um, yeah, I can't believe the price jumps so much after you could buy it for half price. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. I'm sure a few of you bought some amazing pieces in the sales. They were pretty good sales. And um, until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.